Because garden space is at a premium in my yard, this year we had to create a little area that we refer to as Pepper Island, uh, which is just this wraparound of pepper plants I just had to have. And they're just now showing signs of action, so we're just going to take a look and see how they're coming. The king producer so far being the jalapeno plant, but you know, as far as Scovilles go, and this is this is what you put in a newborn baby's bottle. So we had to step it up from that. Now you pass over a couple of just boring old green peppers. We'll, we'll get back to one in just a little bit. But then we get to the red hot cherries, which are doing pretty good in a pot. Uh, they're neither red nor hot yet, but that's coming. Uh, but then we get down to where we start to get things a little bit better. Uh, so here are the habaneros, which are coming along just fine. Uh, now again, that's followed by just some boring old everyday green peppers uh, going around the edge. But where things start to get interesting is uh, back here. Because um, here's where we have the start of what will be our very, hopefully very big ghost pepper pot. Uh, they're starting to drop now. So we have big, big hopes for this one. Uh, but where I went new this year, completely new, is around the corner. Because these are not our ghost peppers, but hopefully one hotter uh, the Trinidad 7s, uh, which are coming in very well. I have very high hopes for these. Uh, and the theory is, a little hotter than a ghost pepper, you know, about um, a million, hundred thousand Scovilles. So, uh, nothing but high hopes for this one. But as of yet, Pepper Island has been a wonderful success. Sometimes my wife asks ridiculous things like, why do you need so many pepper plants that you actually need to create something called Pepper Island? And the reason is because you get peppers like this, uh, jalapenos like this, instead of these chopped up little soggy things that come in a jar, and it just, it can't compare to something like this. So, you know, as far as the big picture goes, I know this isn't that hot, it's not that interesting, but it, it's mine. Mmm. Perfect. Crunchy. I mean, just that baby heat, that's just perfect. I, you just can't eat these soggy things in a jar once you start growing your own. And, and they grow in a pot, so why, why wouldn't you? Mm. Bring on the ghost pepper. 